friends welcome to my hospital at Ranaghat India in this video I want to show clear lens extraction with intraocular lens implantation the patient is a 40 year old lady with minus 12 diopters of myopia by this time the main incision has been made Viscoelastic substance is being injected into the antechamber now and now in this case this is one side port on the right side of the main incision and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision. I planned cortical cleanup by bimanual irrigation aspiration. Now capsular axis. The capsule has been incised and a nice easy to hold flap has been raised and now see the rexis with uterotar forceps. Hold this capsular tag, go anticlockwise, remain at a certain equal distance from the margin of the dilated pupil and do a nice round rexis. If you develop this kind of control in your hand, you don't need any femtolaser. And now hydro dissection. Fluid wave is passed from one side to the other side. And now too much hydro is not required and nucleus need not be rotated. That's it. Now introduce the tip of the FACO handpiece with its with its bevel down and just aspirate the whole mass just gobble the whole mass here it is bevel down now apply vacuum and very minimal ultrasonic energy say about 5 or 10 percent ultrasonic energy and this whole thing tumbles and comes out in few seconds this is clear lens removal and now cortical cleanup is going to take longer time visco has been injected into the anterior chamber now this is a piece of epinucleus it is being guided and being removed and now bimanual irrigation aspiration is being used to remove the cortical matter here it is the irrigation is from the right side and aspiration from the left and see how easily you can remove the cortex and that's it the whole cortex is removed now this is hydro polish there's a very small amount of cortex at around two o'clock and it is being removed the undersurface of the anterior capsular rim is Polish now I am in IA2 mode where the vacuum is very less so you can hold the posterior capsule and polish the posterior capsule and now the posterior capsule is been nicely polished In this case, we have selected a hydrophobic acrylic single phase monofocal intraocular lens. And this is Technis single phase intraocular lens. Beautiful lens, no glistening over many years of follow up. And the lens is being implanted. And it is going to be wound assisted delivery. The main incision has not been enlarged. 
here goes technis single piece intraocular lens no financial interest but i like this lens very much i have implanted this lens in a 8 year old boy who had developmental cataract the lens has been follow up followed up for more than 6 years and the lens is very clear no glistening now visco is being irrigated out by a simco this is i call it stage 1 of visco removal just irrigate and at the end after irrigate irrigating about 5 or 6 ml of pss if aspirate for some time now you could see that i have formed the anti chamber to keep the anti chamber form so that the anti chamber doesn't become flat and the anti chamber fluctuations ac fluctuations is minimized now this is irrigation by only the irrigating probe of bimanual ia i call it stage 2 of visco removal and the capsular bag has been irrigated this is irrigation of the anterior chamber and now this is stage 3 of visco removal irrigation and aspiration together if you remove the visco thoroughly like this you will never see post of rise of intraocular pressure In this case I have asked for intracameral pilocarpin and I am injecting the pilocarpin here under some air. I don't want the pilocarpin to come in contact with corneal endothelium. However the air came out half of the air came out. And now the side ports are being hydrated. I mean the stroma on either side of these stab wounds are hydrated so that this stab wounds close. And now this is the stage 4 of visco removal that is final lavage of the anterior chamber with BSS. Whatever has been used in the anterior chamber pilocarpin visco whatever is removed the air bubble is also removed the anti chamber is formed and the case is concluded thank you very much hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills